Cricket Creek Farm in Williamstown is one of the oldest dairy farms in the region. Purchased by the Sabbath family in 2004, Cricket Creek is doing a number of things to stay sustainable, including the making of artisanal cheeses and most recently restoration of the 1920s era stone barn in the hopes of attracting special events like weddings. Connecting Point producer Dave Fraser and Berkshire Farm and Table Executive Director Angela Cardinale visited Cricket Creek recently and bring us their story in tonight's Grown Locally report. Cricket Creek Farm is one of the oldest dairy farms in the area. It dates back to the 1800s in some form. Um, we're nestled up on the Taconic Hills, so we're a hill farm. We milk brown Swiss and Jersey cows and use that milk to make cheese and we sell raw milk from our farm store. I didn't have any significant experience farming before starting to basically run Cricket Creek Farm. And it, it sort of came around out of necessity. The people who were doing the daily work decided to leave. We had no one to replace them, but it also came from, during that time, in a, a reevaluation of the farm and honestly the finances of the farm. And that my mother and I, who, who co owned the farm and um, were in charge at that time, realized that if we wanted the farm to be financially successful, which we needed it to be in the long run, that we needed to have a much more significant role, and that ultimately we had to do it ourselves. Our cows get milked twice a day, 365 days a year, um, and we make cheese three or four times a week, 52 weeks a year. So our schedule is pretty defined in many ways, and we market and sell that cheese on a very regular basis. We go to three to five farmers markets every week, 52 weeks a year, so we have a reg very regular schedule of cutting and prepping that cheese for those markets. We have very regular wholesale customers that we sell our cheese to. About 80% of our cheese is actually sold wholesale to shops, restaurants, and distributors. I did not know what a dairy farm was growing up. Um, I studied agriculture at Cornell University and as a student at Cornell, I knew that when I left, I wanted to be a farmer. My husband and I visited about 15 dairy farms around New England, looking for a farm that kind of suited our various needs, and um, Cricket Creek Farm was one of them. And immediately upon coming here, we knew that it was the place we were gonna stay. A lot of people say that there's so many different factors that contribute to what makes a good cheese. Everybody asks me, you know, what do you do in the process to make this cheese different from this cheese? Or how do you know that it's gonna be a good cheese? And my answer is always the milk. The milk is what makes a good cheese. And I feel really lucky to be working with so many really healthy and happy cows um, and really, really good land here and people who care a lot about caring for that land. And I think that that's what makes the cheese so special. The focus all along has been on the cheese and from sort of day one when my parents bought the farm that was sort of the idea is what would drive the economic success of the farm but as the years have gone by we've realized that that's not quite enough and so because of that we've uh, worked hard to develop alternative uh, revenue streams and a big one of that is an event business basically hosting weddings and other events and we're renovating a, a beautiful old 1920s stone barn to be an indoor event space we've already been hosting weddings outside under tents um, but see this is a critical component of growing that business um, to the point where it becomes a significant portion of the, the farm's uh, revenue. It's one thing to have a value of care for a small farm, but it's another thing to support it by purchasing their product, coming out and visiting, getting to know those farmers, hearing their stories, and all of that support is something that I am so lucky to witness every day here. Every day, customers come to the farm store, buy our milk, buy our cheese, buy our meat, and tell me how happy they are that they're able to get food from us and that's what makes this worth it.